tea. Good morning. Nice pillow. Soft and warm. Feels creamy and fat. Smells slightly of lemon. I drift off again. You look so happy there. There's tea on the table, if you fancy it. Duvet. Thick and hugging. Clean and safe. I nuzzle further in, grinning and mumbling, before fading back to sleep. I could stand and look at you all morning. And from the looks of things, you could snuggle there all day. Nice pillow. His voice, not sure I know it. Sheets lovely and... His voice. Whose voice? Whose duvet? Whose bed? My eyelids fly open, but my eyes don't move. Oh, good. You are awake. Drink your tea. Then we can see about breakfast. There's a shower, if you want one. The room is a burnt orange. Black and white photos of old movie stars on the wall. The sheets and bedside table are white. And there's a steaming mug next to the alarm clock, which reads 0934. Um, I hear myself say. He smiles. He's wearing a red stripy dressing gown and carrying a second mug with a picture of Garfield. Straight graying hair and a slightly lined face with stubble. And I do know him. I know him. The hair on his chest, the smell, the taste of... Ah. The syllable breaks out of my throat. Then, after a strangled pause, I'm not gay. I'm embarrassed as soon as I blurt the words. I feel my face flushing, and I'm intensely aware of my nakedness. The way his arms felt when he hugged me, the lips that... He smiles again and shrugs a little. Okay, he says. His fingers stroking my hair. Um, gotta go. Gotta go. Sorry. Where's my clothes? You're a nice guy and all, but I'm just not like that. Must have been drunk. Yes, yes, not that I don't like guys who like, who like guys like that, but I'm just not. Thanks for, thank you, but my jeans, where? I furiously realize that I'm crying. Crying in front of him, helpless and stupid. I try to hide my face and turn away, ashamed, pathetic. He carefully puts the mug down and sits on the bed, putting a hand on my bare shoulder. I'm sorry, he says quietly. I didn't realize. Was this your first time? You seemed so confident last night. I look up. Somehow resentful that he thinks I was a virgin, mixed with shame that I let him see me like this, and fear of his hand on me. I'm angry at him for what he did last night, and angry at myself for letting him do it, and angry at him for making me enjoy it, and ashamed of myself that I did. I'm shaking, tears are pouring, and his arms are around me once again. Holding me, saying nothing, stroking my hair, stroking my hair. We stay like this for what feels like a long time. Slowly the tension and pain flows out of me, and I am left only with the sense of being with someone who cares for me. Eventually I pull back, and he lets me go, but still holds on to one hand. I don't want him to let go. But I don't want him to know that. Feeling a bit better? He asks. I nod and manage a rueful smile. My name's Tom, he says. What's yours? 
I sniff and wipe my eyes. Jamie, pleased to meet you, Jamie. We drink our tea.